on guys welcome back in the garage and since we got my car running um, I'm gonna let you guys in on what I got going on for today and uh, today we're gonna be doing a turbo kit install on the on a single cam so what we have here is a uh, d16 y8 um, and we have a simple you know eBay turbo kit with a CX Racing um, lug manifold, Mimusa wastegate. We got a 50 trim turbo. And what I'm doing right now is installing the uh, the intercooler piping. So I kind of got it mocked up here. Let's see. Uh, all the way back to the turbo. We got two brackets that holds the intercooler from the bottom um, and the other side. Let's see. And for the cold side here, obviously just connect these two. And these are the two here. There you go. So that goes back up top to the intake manifold. And we got uh, the RS type blow off valve. We're gonna be putting a thousand cc injectors. Um, and then we'll do we'll be doing uh, converting this car to Hondata as well as uh, Walbro 255 pump So let's go ahead and put the oil pan on uh, this oil pan actually I just uh, got it welded with the dash 10 bunk for the return line and I also got the return line all uh, fitted and everything in there as well so uh, Yeah So we finished installing the intercooler piping from the turbo all the way back to the cold side. We welded this one in, into a uh, one piece. Goes all the way back up. The ball valve to the intake manifold. We're gonna head to T. Uh, one fitting here and we have another vacuum source that's gonna go back to the cabin for the uh, the boost gauge. Install the uh, 1000 cc injectors. And to do that, I think we're going to have to remove the uh, traction bar and uh, get the uh, stock injectors out. Alright, so we got the stock injectors out and um, we're going to be putting a 1000cc uh, injector nation injectors. Here is the stock injectors and here is the newer uh, pencil core style EV14 1000cc. And if you put the two injectors together you can see that the uh, the injector nation is a bit taller, just a tiny bit taller than the stock injectors. So we're going to have to add one washer to the, uh, the brackets of the intake manifold and a fuel rail so that we're not crushing the injectors too much and then uh, we're gonna have to replace the old rubber o-rings here uh, the these injectors comes with the o-rings so we're gonna have to use that one and this injectors also comes with the wireless clip so that uh, you don't have to solder and rewire the stuck injector clips because these will uh, clip in into the wireless connection that come with the injectors and I also sell these injectors online I'm one of the dealer for the injector nation so if you guys need any injectors anywhere starting from like 500 cc to a thousand cc uh, you could message me directly or I could you know put the link down below in the description below and you guys could order straight to the website or you could message me and I'll go ahead and order these injectors and ship them to your house
So we've successfully installed the 1000cc injectors and as you can see the clips, uh, the OEM clip just clips in into the uh, wireless adapter and uh, these injectors is good for around 450 horsepower if you're using E85 or if you want to use like a C16 or whatever fuel you, you prefer to use. But uh, again, you could order these through uh, InjectorNation.com uh, online or you just message me and I'll go ahead and uh, order you some. Right now we're uh, pulling the stock fuel pump out and put a uh, Walbro 255. So let's go ahead and take this cover off. So the kit comes with the fuel pump itself. Uh, you got the two uh, hose clamp, a hose, and you have the sock. Uh, I prefer to use the long one instead of the shorter sock. Is sometimes... Uh, if you have the shorter one, some cars run lean on the dyno, so uh, we're going to be using th this one. So we have the Walbo pump installed into the hangar. And when you guys putting the wall bro, just make sure that you have two clips on here instead of one. I see people rewire these, but um, fortunately with this car, uh, it's plug and play. Just to make sure that the two clips are in there. And you got the rubber hose in there connected with two uh, hose clamp. And so all we have to do now is just install it back into the car and uh, we should be good. We just finished installing the uh, Walbro fuel pump and tomorrow we're going to be uh, installing the wide band and then we're also going to be putting a uh, boost controller in here as well as uh, finishing up with the downpipe for the car so we'll finish up with the other fabrications tomorrow as far as like the wastegate dump and the actual downpipe itself so the motor has rods and pistons, it has to be tire pistons, eagle rods, so technically it could make 350 horsepower, whichever the turbo maxes out to. Uh, it has a stock map sensor, so we're going to street tune it uh, at about 8 pounds on wastegate, and it should probably make around close to 200 horsepower. And then uh, eventually we'll change the map sensor and get it tuned into the dyno uh, and see what kind of power it makes. Go ahead and end the video here since I'm late for work again and uh, I'm gonna update you guys and hopefully they could uh, do some street pulls pretty soon so thanks you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon.